the Ice Wraith skin is finally back in the item shop after a whole year. And so today we're going to be deciding if the skin is worth it or not. So this bundle actually comes with the skin, a Paper Stars emote, and finally a little spray. And so this skin would normally go for 1900 since it is a legendary skin if you decide not to get the bundle. But anyways, let's check this thing out in the locker. So the Ice Wraith Genji skin obviously has a very common theme on there, and that is the ice effect on here. So first off, it actually has this really cool chilling effect that actually kind of produces like a, a fog because of how cold it is, like dry ice. Very, very, very cool feature. But up, up at the top, let's take a look at the face. So this kind of has like, it almost looks like a snowflake. Like we have these little points up here that kind of go out. It'd be like half of a snowflake, and we have a cool little ice ice detail right here kind of looks like a little night helmet down at the bottom and it is completely blacked out inside i don't even know how genji sees out of this thing he doesn't even need to see he has got the force but we have these cool little blue translucent pieces going all the way around the top of this little helmet and just a little black part in the back and what's really cool is actually have these like cool little spines and like rib cages and stuff that wrap around his neck and it kind of looks like a vertebrae that you'd see like on you know a human is that this is made out of ice. He has a cool little rib cage. This is also made out of that translucent and with ice effect as well on the back, kind of like making a rib cage. And the vertebrae actually goes all the way down to the, like the tailbone, which is really cool. But anyways, moving on to the chest, we have, again, more of that icy effect. So this skin consists of a lot of different colors. We have a black, a translucent blue, blue metal, and ice. And that actually pretty much is the only color except for the, like, the face and this little crest part in the middle of the skin that is not those colors. But moving on to the chest, like I said, we have this cool little blue diamond thing, or like gemstone right here in the center. We have some more icicles actually going out of the chest to kind of give it a cool little effect. Again, we have this little rib cage thing right here. Just a cool, it kind of looks like carbon fiber underneath the skin itself to kind of give it a, you know, just a little armor right there. We have some more of those little rubies or gemstones right there made out of ice. Down here, the little... I don't know if this is the groin area, but we have like a little metal plate right here with some ice coming out of it again. We have a lot of ice actually on the shoulders, and both the arms are exactly the same, except for this has a little tiny piece of ice where this one doesn't. But anyways, moving on to this, on to his right shoulder, we have these cool little ice spikes on the shoulder. We have a blue plated metal, and we have some more ice spikes going around the downside of it. And uh, overall, I mean, realistically, the only thing different about this arm versus this one is there is a tiny patch of ice right here on the wrist, whereas this one does not. And that is literally the only detail that is different about the two. And I noticed a lot of skins do that because when you're actually in game first person, you need like punch and stuff, you can only see that wrist. So I guess they only take the time to put it to that and give it like an asymmetrical feel, which I like, but I, some people might be turned off by that. But anyways, down on the hips right here, we have again, this that blue plated metal with the ice actually going around it. Same on both sides. The, the armor on the legs is exactly the same as the chest, except now we have some of that blue metal as well. Down to the shins and the kneecap, again, just some more of that ice. And the feet, we don't really have anything too spectacular. I wish we would have had icicle shoes. That would have been awesome. And then on his calves, again, we have some more of those like little blue gemstones and some ice. And what's really cool about the skin are the swords. I mean, look at that gigantic long sword. We have ice at the very bottom of it with another one of those gemstones, a blue metal sheath, a cool little ice spike at the very top of the sword and then the tiny sword again we just have some more little things and it looks like we actually have a little rune on here so that's cool but anyways let's take a look at this shuriken and that is amazing that is literally just a gigantic snowflake made out of ice that is that is beautiful i love that and then the dragon blade we'll take a closer look at this look at that oh here's some more runes right here actually on the blade itself and the thing is actually made completely out of ice that is phenomenal. Not many times do they change up the blade dramatically, so this looks so cool. We have runes actually on both sides, and they, they're basically the same rune. They're just mirrored, and we have some more ice spikes down here on the hilt. Yeah, that it looks so cool. So now that we've gone through that, let's take a look at some emotes. We have Amusing. <laughs> Challenge. Cutting Edge. Whirlwind. Paper Stars. Screen time. Meditate. Salute. Sky Lantern. And finally, dance. 
Up next we have Victory Pose, we have Kneeling, Shuriken, Sword, Stance, Metal, RIP, Toast, Meditate, Over the Shoulder, and Screen Time. And lastly, for the highlight intros, we have Warriors, Salute. Pumpkin Carving. Shuriken. And Unsheathing the Sword. And now that we've gone through all those, let's take a look at this gold gun. So here's what this looks like before, and then the Dragon Blade, and this is what it looks like after. And honestly, you know, I can't really tell if I like that or not because it basically turned the ice into gold. So it keeps that ice texture where it has like all the defects and stuff that ice would have. And it's not like perfectly symmetrical. So I do like that. I love that it's not just like a straight up gold like we have in the top up here. I think that does look really cool. You know what? I think that's phenomenal. I love that. That is awesome. And then this, dude, that blue and gold really does work. I'm glad they left the runes in the middle to be blue. Dude, I like that. Okay, you know what? Props to them. All right, let's check out this animated highlight intro for Genji. Look at that. Dude, he looks he looks crazy. That this skin is beautiful. Look like seriously, look just look how cool that is. That is awesome. I really like that. So anyways, let's check the skin out in first person. And obviously what we're going to be looking at is the arms themselves. I mean, look at that. The shurikens themselves just look so cool. I love that you can see the ice on there and it just glistens in the sun. It has those imperfections. We have the blue little snowflake metal part, and when we stand still, we have that like little animation where he kind of like moves it and stuff. But his his fingernails are also icicles. That is such a cool attention to detail. We again have those little ice spikes on the wrists themselves. That blue metal looks phenomenal. I, literally, all these blues together just look so freaking good. But anyways, well, let's see what it looks like when we reload. Let's look at that again. Nice. Let's look at when we shoot. Here's those three. Here's what it looks like when we do like this. What does our deflect look like? Nice. Look at that tiny sword. That looks so cool. All right. What does our dash look like? You can't really see anything, but you know, whatever. All right. Let's look at what it looks like when we actually melee. Nice. Look at that. You just hit with the little sword and you actually see again those little, that little ice spike on the left arm right there that we don't have on the right. That looks cool. What's our high look like? Nice. You can see those ice spike little fingertips. That looks phenomenal. And then lastly, Let's check out this alt real quick and look at this little dragon blade. Look at that blade. Dude, up close, that looks phenomenal. I love the ice spikes on the hilt and those little runes. That looks so cool. So now that we've gone through the entire kit, let's talk about this skin and talk about my dislikes first. I don't have any. I don't have any other than there's no unique voice lines. I, I this skin is it, this skin is amazing. I don't know why, but I think all of the ice skins are just the best skins in the entire game. They know how to make ice skins good, and this one is no exception. I, even you know, literally positives. I just love the ice. I've always been such a fan of the Overwatch skins that have ice all over them. They seriously just do them so well. I mean, look at the shurikens. The shurikens are phenomenal. You can just see the little ice spikes on the ground right there. It, it is so cool. The blade is phenomenal. The, the dragon blade is phenomenal. There aren't any uh, unique voice lines, so that is literally the only point that I'm even going to have to take off. This skin gets a 9.9 .9 out of 10. This skin is 100% worth it. I think this is probably the best Genji skin in my little opinion. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all later.